Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. So I've had a few people asking about my clubs. I mean, I've made a few changes, so I've been demanded, the public have demanded that they want an in the bag video from me. And this is what I'm gonna give you now. Um, I'm gonna do a kind of a more in depth one, because I've actually changed the setup a bit. I've changed a few of the lofts and a few of the clubs that I'm using. Um, I'm gonna do some separate videos on them, because I, I think it's quite interesting why I've done it and maybe the way that I've tried to approach it might help you if you're thinking of changing clubs for the beginning of this season. But this is just going to be a nice overview. So we will start with the wedges. So you can see with my wedges here, they are black Mac Daddy 3s. I've gone for the 60, but that is in the PM grind. So you'll see it's got the higher toe. I've been finding this is a really versatile club. Um, I've been really impressed with it in black. Um, I've gone to the 54 and I've, I'm using the 54 with the wider sole. Um, I can get a little steep in my pitching and I've been finding that wider sole really does help. And I, I, I'm a great fan of the wider sole clubs. I know I'm um, tightless with doing the K vest, K vest, the K grind. So again, it's a very similar concept and I, I, I do like that wider sole. I think it can help a lot of people out there. So if you're looking at new wedges, maybe going for something with a little wider sole could answer and help you a lot and then i've also got the 50 so this is one's been added in so i'm carrying the extra wedge i've been finding that i hit my pitching wedge about 140 so I'm, i've got 50 in there just to try and bridge that gap but yeah these are all kbs c taper x 130 grams that's the shaft I've got in all of my clubs at the minute in the, in the wedges and the irons. Uh, it's quite a heavy shaft, which I like because I've got a bit of that Sergio move quite quick in transition and somebody that likes that sort of club tends to like a bit heavier clubs. So that's why I've got that. And I like the color of these. So it's a Lampkin UTX. So that's the grip I've been using, but I've got four layers of tape underneath all of my grips at the minute makes it play more like a mid-size grip so that's why I've got that but I like I like the feel and I like the color of this grip so I've got extra layers rather than having a mid-size so that's the wedges that's the shafts so let's get into the irons so the irons are fairly new I've gone into the Apex Pro so yeah been been liking these they're a, they're a satin finish but they're, they're quite a small compact head but they, they've got a bit of forgiveness in them as well, so I've been, uh, I've, I've been happy with these ones. Uh, I've gone half an inch longer than standard, but I had some Mizunos previously, and Mizunos come a bit shorter, so although I'm half an inch longer still, these are actually a quarter of an inch longer than what I was using. Um, with my setup, I sometimes get a bit down, so it's allowing me to maybe get a slightly better setup. So I've been... Um, yeah, I've been, I've been pleased with that change and it quite a subtle change, but it's also something to consider when you're getting new clubs is the manufacturers, there's no set rule on lie angles or lengths. It's all against their standards. So you just have to be a little careful, if, especially if you're changing manufacturers. Um, I tend to deliver the club quite low. I mean, I, again, I've got that Sergio move. So I tend to need flatter lies. Um, I've gone two degrees flat and that's partly because when you go longer in the shaft it makes the head play effectively more upright so I've actually gone two degrees flat to try and counter that it's um, something that makes me quite hard to custom fit because you get a lot of people that need to go longer and more upright so the two work together um, when I go longer it kind of takes my lie away from where I need it to be but like I said I've just gone two degrees flat to try and counter that and that's the reason uh, one of the big changes I've made is I am only going up to 5-iron in these. So I've got the 5-iron, which is still in the Apex Pro, but then I've gone for an Apex UT in the 24 degrees. So that's, uh, that's a new addition as well. I've gone, it's, it's to try and split the yardages up. I, mean, I will do another video on this and give you give you the yardages and try and explain it in more detail but I'm trying to get my distances different from my 5.4 and then another new addition I've gone to an apex 
So this is the utility. So the reason I've gone for this one is that I had the UT 18 degree and it's a great club and I, I will switch it in and out of the bag. So I, if I'm playing a Lynx course and I need a low flight that's gonna like chase down the fairways, I'll certainly use that one. But I've got this one in the bag because I, I want it to kind of carry the same distance as the UT, but I don't want it rolling through. So like when I was up at the, uh, the, the fitting center, the European uh, fitting center, I was finding my UT18, I was carrying it about 240, but I was getting it to roll out to about 275. And although that sounds impressive as in length, what it was doing, it was coming in to my three wood. And that's the last thing I want because it was effectively making me only use my 18 and not use my three wood. So as I'm carrying the extra wedges, it effectively meant I was playing with sort of 13, 12 clubs. So I put this one in to try and solve that issue um, I've not been a fan of hybrids in the past because I tend to turn them over and you'll get a lot of people that kind of draw the ball won't get on with hybrids but what I found with this one it's it's a slightly uh, slightly slimmer version they have kind of tried to factor that in for the better player and I've been really impressed with this one I've, I've been hitting it quite a few times and I'm not finding that it's turning over got a got a heavy shaft in it it's a rip extra stiff um, 85 grams, so it's quite a heavy shaft. This one again is slightly longer than standard, with the same with the same grip setup as the as the irons. But yeah, this is um, this is a nice one to put in the bag. Um, I've, I've got it in 20 degrees as well, so I'm I'm trying to factor in that it should go similar to my 18, but it shouldn't roll as far. So um, I, I can use it from the rough going at par fives, or I can use it off the tee to get in a position. And if I need something a bit further, I'll then use my three wood. Whereas previously I was finding I was making this three wood redundant, which is a shame because it is a really, really nice club. So here it is. So it is my Big Bertha Alpha. I am um, I tried the XR and I, I did like the XR, but the reason I've stuck with this one is I was overspinning my three wood when I got tested, and when I went back down and got tested for my new driver. I was finding that I hadn't really solved that overspin issue. So with this club, you've got the two weights and I've got it set so the, the heavier weight of the two is nearer the front. What that does is reduce the spin. So reducing the spin gives me a, a better controlled flight and it also gets the ball going out into the distance that I want it. It's about 270 in, in and around there. So now I've got a nice split between what I've got underneath it and it's not, this isn't gonna encroach in on my driver. Uh, the shaft is a speeder, 765. It's an X flex and it is quite heavy. How heavy? I can't remember, unfortunately, so I can't give you that. I think it's about 80, 85, but I might be wrong. But yeah, it's a, it's a stiff, extra stiff speeder, real nice feel. Um, it's still got that grip on there, so that's the mid-size multi-compound. So it's the, playing the same size as the other ones, but uh, this one's been in the bag. I've had no problems with it, so I, I've seen no reason to change. So yeah, this one, I, I want it to get a bit more of a workout than it did last year. I felt that it, I was making it a bit redundant, and it's a shame because I, I, didn't like, I hit it really well, so there was kind of no need for that. So hopefully this new setup is going gonna, is gonna to make me use this one a little bit more. We've then got my driver, so my driver is an XR Pro, so I've just been fitted for this one, this one is, is, is very new, but I like the graphics on the top, the, the speed step crown, um, it's meant to make the club head move a bit quicker which I've found, and I've gone into a slightly heavier shaft, so I've got a Graphloid Blue 75X. So when I was testing initially, um, obviously with the Alpha that I was using, the Double Black Diamond, club that I mean, it was going really, really well, but you've got interchangeable weights, so I'd set the weights up to try and reduce spin. Um, this one doesn't have that option, but what we found is going into a slightly heavier shaft actually brought the spin back down to where we wanted it to be. When I, when I tried it with the same shaft uh, that I had, so the Rogue that I had in my previous driver, we were finding, although I was swinging it quicker, I was spinning it too much to see any gains. By changing into the heavier shaft, 
we got better results and it was just outperforming it slightly. But like I said, I really, I really like the look of it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to using this one in the up and coming months. So that is my clubs, bar the putter. So the putter is my Adele. Been had great success with this. My putting has always been the weakest part of my game, but the Adele, it, and especially the fit. So um, if you haven't seen the videos that I did on this one, this got in my bag sort of the middle of last year. And um, this company is just like they're custom fitting geniuses. I mean, they give you so many options and the, the fitting process is fantastic. Um, I've got weights sort of in the shaft to help with my stroke. I mean, it, it, the head is set for me to line it up the best. So yeah, a, a product I've been really pleased with and I, I think it has certainly helped my putting. Practicing my putting has also helped, but yeah, this having a tool that, I don't blame the putter anymore. I used to be a guy that would always be kind of looking, what putter shall I use next? What uh, setup shall I change? Shall I change the lie? Shall I change the grip? Shall I change the length? And I've been finding by having this one fitted and I'm far more comfortable and I know that it's fitted correctly. So if I do have a bad day on the greens, I know it's me and I need to go away and sort it out and practice rather than when I used to feel very uncomfortable with the alignment. So then as a result, I always felt like I needed to change. So yeah, good, good example of how custom fitting can be important. Doing custom fitting across all of your clubs is important, but it is important in the putter, I think the putter sometimes gets missed out. And also the wedges, you've been looking at, like I was talking about bounces and stuff, it's, um, it is, it's important. So that are the clubs. What I use Callaway leather gloves. Do you mean these are POW, very good. And then ball wise, I've been using the Chrome Soft, but I've been using Truvis. So I've been using Truvis for a few months now, and I, I, I've been impressed with that. I've, I'm going to do a video on on this ball, but I, I do like it. I thought it might be a bit gimmicky. I wanted to use it, but I, like I said, I thought I might not get on with it, but I, I've actually quite liked it. But I will do another video on that. But that is my setup. That is, these are my babies that are going to be in the bag 2016. Um, I got a bit of golf coming up, so I'm. We'll be doing some vlogs, but I'm also playing in some professional events. So, again, yeah, I've, I've I've really tried to think through. I've made a few changes with actually what clubs I'm carrying and sort of what lofts I'm carrying. So, if yeah, if you've got any questions, you can get some questions down. Because, like I say, I'm going to do some more detailed stuff. But it'd be nice if I've got some questions because obviously I can answer them in the subsequent videos. But yeah, this is my bag. I like it a lot, it, these are my babies, so I'm going to finish the video there, hope to catch you soon.